Okay guys, so just before we get started with this particular lesson, don't forget you can head on over to the website to get access to our full write-up. And if you do want to support us as well as get access to our community, direct access to myself and all the other mentors, as well as progress tracking, a customized pathway, and so much more, then you can sign up to our YJ Club and all the links are below. Hey guys, so we're here today at Franco's place, Franco Lakin, and he's one of our wonderful guitar tutors here in London. He's got one of the most beautiful front door, front houses that I've seen in a long time, and we're gonna be going in to look at his amazing studio. So this is a great example of a beautiful space within a living room. So it's gonna be really interesting for you guys that just wanna create something in more like a corner of another room, perhaps. So let's go in and let's have a chat with Franco. Cool, okay guys, so here we are and here's Franco. Welcome. Thank you for letting us into your wonderful place. Pleasure. As you can see, it is stunning. Uh, when we walked in here, our reaction was just like, boom, this is a crazy studio. Um, and it's super interesting that it's in a living room space and you kind of divided it like this, so. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, it was something I wanted. Yeah. Um, the main thing is, after 2020 and working from home a lot, yeah. I wanted a space that was big, that felt bright and um yeah. and yeah just having a corner like this just made sense yeah um because that's where i spend most of my days so yeah. i want that space to be just cozy and and comfortable and nice looking and all that it does look nice Thank you. <laughs> and it is cozy as well like and it's interesting how i i love how you've literally divided this room yeah. using gear and lighting yeah i didn't want to like have a wall there because it felt like I wanted that room to feel big yeah um, but having the rug the lights yeah. and the guitars like that it yeah just cut, it cuts the room nicely but at the same time you can still see yeah. the cozy space the living room behind you and all yeah. that um, yeah that was very important there was a couple of things I wanted here the main thing was to create that space that was my office space and my practice space and all that yeah and to make sure that um, it wasn't too loud because I don't want to have troubles with my neighbors. That's the main thing. Like I, I want them to like me. <laughs> that was really important. So yeah, yeah that was thought of. Uh, yeah, something that I had to keep in mind. So just making yeah. sure that um, you know everything is pointing towards my face, like the speakers, the yeah. amp. Everything yeah. is yeah. aiming towards yeah. me. Yeah, and it's like, and I can see because you're in you're in a block of like terrace houses kind of thing. Yeah, so, so I've got neighbors on that side, yeah. neighbors on that side. Yeah. And it works because I've been here uh, six months yeah. and I didn't even know I was playing guitar. Yeah. So that, that is working. That's a, that's the fact that you've built this in six months, this kind, of, this kind of vibe as well is just absolutely beautiful. Um, so let me ask you, so imagine the viewers are, I mean, there's gonna be lots of people from different backgrounds looking, aiming for different things. Yeah. But let's, let's ground it with like, a, okay, I'm, I'm looking to set up my space mm -hmm. and it's a practice space over everything else, um, yeah. which I think, that fall, this falls into that category. You know, you've got does, a lot of gear, yeah. which we'll talk about, but it fundamentally it's a great practice space, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I play guitar all the time. So <laughs> I, I, I want to be like here and I want it to just be easy and quick to set up. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm lazy. I don't want to plug cables. I want to wake up in the morning, pick up my guitar and that's yeah, it, I can yeah, play. I play. Yeah. So all the steps between me and the practice, I wanted to get rid of them. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's super easy. Like the, the main thing was the board is on all the time. Yeah. The amp is, I just need to switch it and everything's plugged it, oh, plugged in all the time. Yeah. Um, I've got two outputs on the board. One of them goes to the amp, yeah. the other one goes here. So whatever setup I need to use, yeah. the switch is easy. I literally just need to turn on the amp, it's yeah. on, that's it. And that's it. Um, and yeah, I just need to choose the guitar. That's the, the hardest part of it. <laughs> there's, quite, there's quite a range. Yeah. I mean, why, why don't we talk? Why don't we go through your guitars and, your, mm -hmm. and talk about guitars and, and just the instruments? Because uh, you know, it, it 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 seems really obvious, but just having a lovely range of instruments here is so inspiring. Yeah, to play. it does make you want to pick them up and to just play. Um, yeah. and something I realized when I was starting to practice and starting my musical journey. Yeah, it was that you need to take your guitar off your case when you get home and yeah. leave it on the stand so it's easy to pick up yeah. and to just plug. That's Absolutely. the main thing, it's step number one. Yeah, uh, Yeah. guitar-wise, I've got quite a few. Um, so I've got, I'm mainly a strap player. So yeah, show us. My workhorse is this one. It's a an old Mex 
uh, that I bought second hand when yeah. I was 17. Look at how you're holding it. It's so, I can see this has been gigged. Uh, yeah, so it, casual. It has, yeah, it's, it's, lot, it's a bit of paint and, and everything. But yeah. what I love about this one is that uh, I know everything about it. I've changed all the pickups, the mechs, the metal parts, they all changed. And okay. it's a really good workhorse. But then yeah. I've got another strut that I use more when I'm recording, uh, it's a great guitar. Yeah. Um, it's a bit gross right now, I need to change the strings. Uh -huh. But uh, the what I like about this one is that the tremolo is, is floating and the other one is fixed. Okay. So it's just two different use. Um, so if you want to use the whammy bar, if you want to get into that. Yeah, that's the one I'll take. Kind of maybe style, it's all there. Also different necks, you've got different yeah. necks on those, the, sounds, the, I guess. The one on the Sunburst one is slightly thinner. So it's a great guitar when I'm a bit tired at the end of the day. Yeah. It's just a great guitar to pick up. Yeah. Uh, I've got a Les Paul with P90s, I've got a Gretsch. Where's that? Let, let's see those. So the Les Paul is here, same thing, it's been gigged a lot. So. Oh, black, that is nice. Yeah, isn't it? I obviously broke the, the headstock. I don't know if you can see the scar. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, yeah always snapped into. Uh, let's have a hold of that one. Yeah, go on. Yeah, and it's not too heavy either, is it? This is. No, this I think is... it's chambered. Um, P90s. Yeah. Very nice. I like them. Um, it's a, I mean, you can see it's been gigged, like the paint is coming off yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. I love my guitars, I'm, I'm a huge nerd, but to me they are tools. Like I want to use them and not feel bad when they've got a scratch because of uh, what I'm doing on stage or whatever. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this is the only guitar I've never gigged. Like, <laughs> it, looks, it looks new, that's why. This is beautiful. Yeah. Um, that was, that's the only guitar I bought without thinking about it. I came into the shop to yeah. pick up the Les Paul that was yeah. getting fixed. I saw this one, yeah. tried it, and left the shop with two guitars. <laughs> uh, I never do that. That's so. how they get you. Yeah. I mean, it is, I mean, you can probably see that on camera, but that is absolutely stunning. Um, I find it really interesting how, I mean, the Bigsby as well. So another, yeah, it's fun. if you've never used the Bigsby before, they're just, they're just fun, aren't they? Yeah. Um, maybe we'll play a bit of that later. But um, I find it really interesting that once again, we're in another studio with a Strat, with a Les Paul, with a semi-hollow, um, two strats in this case. You know, it's like you it, the sound difference is, is yeah. the key here kind of thing. They are different, they play differently. They're different size as well. So uh, strats are to me really comfortable. Yeah. But um, the Gretsch is a bit lighter, for example. Yeah. Weirdly, it's huge, but it's a lot yeah, yeah, lighter. It's, it's a semi-hollow, yeah. yeah. So and um, the Les Paul is really heavy as well, even though it's chambered. And this one, yeah. That's not mine, oh, uh, yeah. but I love it. And uh, <laughs> they're getting expensive, those. Um, it's a great guitar, it's really light. It's got it, one pickup, it's, it's all you cool, need. It's cool, yeah, I yeah. mean, that does what it does, doesn't it? It does what it says on the tin. It's all you need. Hello, um, Kitty. I'm just gonna pick up all your guitars yeah, here, because why not? This was very heavy, surprisingly. <laughs> Hang on, let me just get it out of here. Yeah, and it's a lefty, it's not mine. Ah, this is, your, is this your and sister's? Look at that, there's a string. <laughs> Oh, snapped. Um, anyway. Is this like the Jack White style? Yeah, this it's looks. Airline. So it's um, they're great guitars. Yeah. A bit weird, but uh, and this one was set up as right handed, mm -hmm. uh, but the big beat is, is upside down, so it's yeah. a bit of a mess. Yeah. But it's fun. <laughs> uh, so that's the kind of stuff I would record with and not play properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got gotcha. you. Um, oops, there we go. Don't worry. And you've got acoustics. You've got bass guitars. Yeah. So that's my. My bass guitar. Yeah. So I say '95 Mexican bass. Yeah. It's a jazz bass. It just does the job. It's yeah. just it's all I need. I'm not a bass player, so it's obviously just for like fun mainly, and and just when I'm like composing or that kind of stuff, just to give mm -hmm. an idea of the sort of bass line I want. So you would actually record it as part yeah. of like getting something down yeah, on the definitely. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. And then I'm not a huge acoustic player, so I've got only two. <laughs> Which yeah, is very weird. I've got yeah. my first acoustic guitar. Yeah, uh, it's an old chord. My sister's got that exact guitar. It's, it's a nice one, honestly. Yeah. It, yeah. I mean, I've played it everywhere. Yeah, uh, yeah. It sounds okay. Uh, it's a pretty like common shape. It's the sort of dreadnought shape. Yeah. Uh, so pretty standard. Uh, and I've played it a lot. You can see it's missing a bit of uh, yeah, 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 like yeah, everywhere. Yeah, it's nice. And I've got this one, which was actually a present from one of my students. Whoa, uh, nice present. And I really like it. It's uh, what is it? Double O, triple O? What's what's that shape? I have no idea. I, oh, I no. Can do you know? 
<laughs> we, we can tell we're not yeah. acoustic people. No, not really. But it sounds great. It's really like mid-heavy, so it cuts through really nicely when you're playing yeah. with uh, other acoustic players. Yeah. And the neck is thin, yeah. it's comfortable, it's quite small. Yeah. Um, great guitar, love it. And again, just coming back to this idea that they are just all displayed. Everything is here yeah. in front of you. You can just really easily grab it. Because sometimes like inspiration is a big deal. When you're sitting down as a guitar yeah. player and day in, day out, you're trying to practice, you're trying to, you know, there is a bit of a slog to learning the guitar at the end of the day. Yes, absolutely. And just having like, okay, do you know what? Today I really feel like playing that Strat. Yeah. And it makes you pick up and play. Yeah, and also the other thing is sometimes you, you've got five minutes to play. Yeah. You don't want to spend these five minutes just plugging everything or, or yeah. opening the case to get the acoustic guitar. Yeah. I just have to pick it up. Yeah. And while my friends are getting ready and we're going out or whatever, I'll just play that guitar. Yeah. And that's it. I've, yeah. I've played five minutes. Yeah. So that's the goal. Always having them ready to be played. Super nice. Mostly in tune. Mostly. <laughs> and, uh, and mostly with good strings. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. This is like the, the exception panel yeah. over here. That's we why it's over there. We don't yeah. go over yeah. there. Yeah. Just, that's just, the this work in progress. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool, man. And, and then, okay, so we've got guitars, we've got instruments, so you've got a good range. Mm -hmm. um, just whilst we're on instruments, tell me the story behind the epic Hammond keyboard. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? Um, so yeah. it's a keyboard that I found in the bin, in the streets. Um, and um, I picked it up, I fixed it, which was fairly easy. It was just about changing the, the power cable. In the and bin, I mean, come yeah. on. I mean, it's... It's from the mid seventies, so it's not rare or expensive. Or yeah. whatever. it just looks nice. Yeah, and it's the best acoustic panel I can have here <laughs> because it's so thick and huge. <laughs> yeah, that nothing goes through there. Yeah, so it's just a great way to play here, and just I, it just looks nice. I just like the colors and the and it works. And I feel like in another lifetime you were an interior designer because you've Maybe. literally used it as a corner <laughs> of yeah. the room. You've created a new part of the room with that. And that, I think that's a great bit of advice to anyone, just using your instruments to actually create the space. Yeah, to me that's like my creative bubble. It's yeah, like yeah. that thing here. That's also why the lights have a different color than the rest of the house. Yeah. It's a way to divide that huge room here yeah. in two. Um, and yeah, just having that space that feels that you're... You're just isolated from everything else. So I work here, I chill over there. Yeah. I never do the the other way around. So I yeah. never work over there and chill here. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's brilliant. It works. And as someone coming back after a day's work or something, and they can come into a space like this, mm -hmm. you, you're just instantly in a creative mood almost. T tell me a bit about so. the lights, because you did mention it briefly, yeah. but I think it's worth just, for people who want to set something like this up, what, what, is, what, is, what are you using? So I'm using uh, Philips Hughes. Um, ah, yeah, yeah. So I've got a strip light underneath the guitars here, which yeah. is a way again to split the room in two. And yeah. also in the evening, it looks great because it just reflects on all the, the guitars. Yeah, it which does. Is Already really nice. great. Though. Yeah. Uh, and then I've got a few around here. The goal was to, because the desk is not against the wall, because mm -hmm. I wanted to be able to close the, the windows and all that. Mm -hmm. So the lights are hiding behind the desk, so you can't really see them, mm -hmm. and behind that acoustic panel as well. So it just creates a bit of space. And, and they're just. Are they LED lights as well? So yeah. I could, so I can Philips Hue. I can literally uh, turn them on, t turn them off like that and, and on, um, which is great because again, yeah. I'm lazy. I don't want to have a switch on the wall. Yeah. I just yeah. have everything yeah. there. Yeah. Um, and it works. It's just um, it's a bit of a nightmare to set up. Once yeah. it's done, you yeah. never touch it again. Yeah. Which is what I like. Yeah, yeah. No, I love that. And again, I think just to finish off that bit about the room. Mm -hmm. They are just the icing on the cake. It just really just brings it all yeah, to life. It does. I think. It's just again, it's just a really simple way to split the room and to divide the space, yeah. the one you're practicing or working on, and, and yeah. everything else. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's cool. I like it. So, what about? Um, because obviously, we will later on talk about recording. That'll be in mm -hmm. another video. But yeah. for now, hardware-wise, you've got an amp and you've got pedal board. I think we should talk about this because it's. Yeah. One of the most spectacular pedal boards I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. Um, if I move a little bit here so you can kind of talk through it. Yeah. Um, um, where do you want to start? <laughs> let's start with the arm because it's yeah, okay. fairly basic. Yeah. It's a Blues Junior, so it's probably the most used amp in yeah. London. Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. It's, it's a small valve amp. Yeah. It can be loud, it can be quiet, so it's great for home use. Yeah. Um, it's sitting on a sort of platform, an acoustic platform, so it doesn't vibrate too much. Yeah, oh, uh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. yeah, it's a great way if you've got neighbors. I don't have neighbors underneath there because mm -hmm. it's a house, but yeah. uh, it's just a great way to make sure nothing is vibrating too much. Yeah. And the rug is obviously helping as well. Yeah. 
so yeah, it's pretty basic amp. Um, they do the job really well. It's clean. It, I mean, yeah. I've got one of these. You, you can't, unless you're going to turn up crazy volumes, it yeah. can't crunch, which is, I guess, is why you've got everything else on yeah. here. Um, but you can gig with them and you can play yeah. at home yeah. and you can play with your mates. It just, it does everything. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a nice one. And okay. then the pedals, so they're yeah. always, the pedal board again is always plugged into the amp and to the audio interface. Yeah. So yeah. I've got two outputs here. Yeah. One goes to the interface, so that's the one with that white tape. Yeah. It goes over there. Yeah. And the other lead goes to the amp at all time. Mm -hmm. uh, and the pedals, so I've got quite a lot. I'm a bit of a nerd. Uh, so I've got reverb here, um, which is, it's nice because the amp's got a reverb, but um, not the audio interface, obviously. So it's a way for me to just throw in some sounds with reverb already. Yeah. Um, and then I've got compression, chorus. There we go. So nice, I'm, nice. I've got the wah, I've got my the best pedal in the world, the tuner, obviously. <laughs> um, I've got distortion and fuzz, and I've got a loop pedal, which is great when you're practicing. Yeah. And that long metal strip is just a switcher. So it's just an on off switch for all these pedals. Ah, right, okay. That's it, is it? It's yeah, an it's on off switch for all the pedals. Super simple. So uh, again, it's just, yeah. some of these pedals it's are quite nice. old. So it was a way to, it was a way to make sure that um, they weren't getting too noisy in the chains. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, okay. Just, yeah, that's, that's why I've got this. And also, I used to play that board on on, on stage quite a lot. Yeah. And uh, I didn't want to reach over, like, <clears throat> risking to hit the, the loop pedal or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So this just does everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. No, that's, I mean, again, it's ni <laughs> it, def it describes you very well, this kind of board. It's very <laughs> neat, very tidy. And again, actually, although it looks a little complicated in places, it makes your life easier. It does. Again, it's a mess when you're setting it up. Yeah. But then it's done. You yeah. never touch it again. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, and yeah, it's, it's not moving too much. Now it's becoming more of a studio board. Yeah. And I've got a smaller one when I'm playing. Um, but the fact that it's not moving too much, I can, I mean, I, it's fairly easy to keep it working. Yeah, 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 for uh, sure. Yeah. Very nice, man. I mean, in terms of hardware, mm -hmm. everything you could possibly need there as a practice space, you have. Yeah. This room is obviously also for recording, yeah. for webinars. You do so many, you do webinars, obviously online lessons with all your students. Yeah. Um, so maybe it's worth you just taking to a little bit of the desk space, mm -hmm. sure. um, the monitors, this, this kind of thing. So uh, the monitors are Yamaha's, I think it's HA6 fives or sevens. I can't remember the size of them. Uh, they are fairly standard. You would see them everywhere. It's either those or the K, uh, K, R, K, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, the yellow yeah. and, and black ones. Uh, we'll put like links or yeah. we'll certainly write these out so we, so people know what they are. And they're, they're really nice. They, they sound great. Again, they're aiming when I'm in like my working position, they're aiming yeah. at my face. Yeah. So not, they don't need to be too loud or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, they're both connected to this audio interface, which is uh, an EIE Pro by, I think it's Akai. Mm -hmm. um, it's a weird one and don't see a lot, but yeah. it does the job. Uh, the reason why I bought this one is because I'm always using two inputs. So mm -hmm. I've got this as my microphone, so that red cable over here. Yeah, so yeah. that's the one I use when I'm teaching online, for yeah. example. Uh -huh. And this, that white tape to the board. So that's ah, my yes, the input. white tape, here we are. So. I wanted to have more than just two inputs in case I've got another guitar to plug it mm -hmm. or, or something like that. I've got a lead here. Again, yeah. I'm lazy, so it's... Again, easy. just ready to go. There it is. Look and that's at that. the lead over there. That's amazing. Um, so if you want, for example, if I was a student sitting mm -hmm. here, you could plug me in as well. We yeah, could both absolutely. be coming through. Easy yeah. peasy. Uh, again, the goal is to make it quick. I don't want to change the input of this one. I know it works. I know it's the right one. I don't yeah. have to touch it. Yeah. Um, and then that's it. And it's not something you need, you don't need for inputs, yeah. especially if you're just like setting up your first room or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's just a question of comfort. That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the computer is about to change. Uh, <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, it, it, did, it did well. So this computer is an iMac, it's a 20, was it 24 inch iMac and I think it's 21, isn't 21? it? 21. It's the same That's as my no, old one. Yeah, yeah it is. Same thing. Uh, and it's from 2011. So I got this computer when I turned 20. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> What a workhorse, though. Yeah. I yeah. mean, the thing is, so I've got to change because of 
like for example, when I'm doing webinars, um, yeah. I've got two cameras, mm -hmm. I've got main stage, yeah. I've got obviously uh, Discord working and OBS and it's just too much for the CPU, Yeah. but it does the job. If I were to just record basic tracks, it yeah. would still work. It's still, it's still working fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's quite old, but it does the job. I yeah. run Logic um, most of the time when I'm recording. Yeah. And then when I'm playing, as in either teaching or whatever, mm -hmm. main stage, which is pretty much the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it works really well. Um, I can show you. Like, if I do that, I've got uh, everything starting. Here so again, it comes. Just being lazy. Hey. There you go. Yeah, I'm ready for our first um, webinar. And There's yeah, I've got Discord. Discord. That's for the YJ Club. Yeah. And I've got main stage here that is taking forever to start because the computer's old. Tell me just quickly about this this box here yeah. that you're using to control stuff. <laughs> so that's the Stream Deck. So it's a long story, but basically when 2020 started, and we all started working from home a lot, yeah. and I started teaching from home a lot. Yeah. Um, the first few months, it felt a little bit like my lessons weren't as good as when I was teaching face-to-face -face. and I wanted to catch back. I wanted my lessons to be like more dynamic and more interesting and all that. So mm -hmm. I thought it would be nice to have two cameras mm -hmm. so I can switch and just, you know, when you're talking to someone, have your face, yeah. when you're playing, have your guitar and that yeah. kind of stuff. Um, so I started thinking about what are the guys on Twitch doing to make it more dynamic mm -hmm. and they use that kind of stuff. They use more cameras. Uh, they've got a really nice sound and I started just changing the space a little bit to fit that idea okay. of I'm going to be working from home a lot more. Yeah. I'm going to be teaching online a lot more. Yeah, yeah. I just want it to just be nice and, and clean. And yeah. um, so that thing here allows me to control the webcams I've got. So I've got two or three because I've got one here and yeah. one there. Yeah. Uh, this one is always aiming at me and my guitar. Yeah. Uh, this one is always on my face. Yeah. Um, and then I've got different setups different scenes so i've got this scene which is my face i can just cut it and, and hide it if i want to um so do that again so so yeah so it's, it's a control you can program it to do anything yeah, you want it basically is a keyboard and it's just shortcuts and you decide what these shortcuts do yeah. uh, so you just set it up so that is on, on obs for example so yeah. let's say i'm teaching online and yeah. someone's at my door i can just press that button it cuts everything be right, right back there we go Lovely. And i'm coming back yeah. i can record everything with one button yeah. so if my students can't like they're struggling with something yeah. i can just record myself really quickly yeah literally the press of a button yeah i can mute myself if something goes wrong or whatever um and then i've got my usual shortcuts so i've got my lights i've got spotify i've got show me the lights on and off yeah sure there we go so that's off. Yeah, that's that is. And that's on. <laughs> the, the intensity of the lights as well. Oh, it's just so um, cool. I mean, it's proper geek magic, isn't it? It, it is. so oh, cool. Yeah. But you know what? That is so useful. Like, yeah. I thought yeah. it was going to be a, a gadget. And yeah. now that I've got it, it just yeah. makes it so quick. Because yeah. when we teach online, we've got Zoom and Skype and Discord. And they all have different shortcuts. Yeah. And just getting used to these shortcuts, I kept on hitting the wrong keys and all that. Yeah, and this yeah. is just me being in control of it. And yeah. I don't have to worry about that. And I can focus on the lessons. Yeah. Um, so yeah, just being more efficient. I yeah. Think. I mean, I hope. Oh yeah, definitely. It's the, 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 the lessons online are the best I've ever seen. It, it easily. Just, just, just simply thinking about all those, having a different angles that you can easily switch between. Yeah. Um, to even just to the point of view of, of the background when someone's having lessons, you know, they tune in and they're like, wow, this is such a cool space. Um, for any professional uh, guitarists out there who are looking to build something like this, mm. you can see how it directly correlates to your income, to your... Definitely, yeah. I mean, it, I think I, I don't want my students online to feel like the, the lessons online are um, less good than the lessons you've got face-to-face. -face. Yeah. To me, they are yeah. just different types of lessons. Yeah. And I teach online a lot now. Yeah, so yeah, of course. I, I want my students online to just, to just like it. Yeah, to just feel like it, it's working and yeah. it's worth it. You know? Yeah, um, so yeah, and it does. And 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 Hope so. coming back to when people used to come in more. Yeah, you know this um, this concept of that first impression is just yeah. absolutely massive, isn't it? Really. Yeah. Um, so so yeah. So I mean, I remember used to teaching it when I first started your guitar academy to all the new tutors starting. Mm -hmm. It's like do not underestimate someone's yeah. first impression, and that the same as what you're doing on a webcam when someone comes in through the door. It's 
it's absolutely so important. Yeah, and also it's not, I'd say that, it's not a cheap trick as in, this is really the place where I spend most of my days like on that <laughs> chair with a guitar, just yeah, yeah. practicing and, yeah. and learning songs. Um, so it's, even for me, when I get home and I open the door and I see that, yeah. it makes me want to practice. Ah, there you go. That's so, what it's yeah. all about. Okay, guys, that's it for this lesson. If you're looking for the next lesson, please do click here. If you're looking to start the whole series, then we've got the full playlist available right here. You can go from start to finish.